to Cranking Out Crafts and my name is Puna and today we're gonna finish up um, the last episode for our t-shirt week and what I'm gonna show you how to do today is how to cut up your shirt to do like this kind of stitching you can actually do it for larger shirts to make them a little bit smaller you can also do it on older shirts it's great for summertime because they'll have airflow <laughs> so it, to do this project what you're going to need is a shirt and I'm actually using an old shirt that we have we did this on COC before so I'm going to use the back of this shirt and I also need uh, scissors and that's it so to start off the first thing that you have to do is cut off this nice seam at the bottom we don't like that because once you start to do your your weaving on your shirt um, the seam will actually roll up so because we don't want that to happen we're just gonna go ahead and cut it right off the bottom then I'm gonna do cuts in the back side of the shirt so what I have to do is fold make sure we have the shirt folded in half okay um Fold it in half. Make sure you have a pretty nice crease and that it is actually in half. And then we're gonna start making cuts up our shirt. And you can do for the whole back if you want to, or you can do just for a small section. Um, I'm gonna start pretty far down at the bottom. And the wider that you make these cuts, like the longer that you make them, the, um, the more area you're gonna see in the back and then also the smaller like these the smaller you make it the smaller your weaving is going to be so you don't you can decide beforehand what you want to do you don't have to do as small as me you can do bigger but after you decide you just kind of want to keep them about the same size so and then try to keep your your cuts the same length too which is kind of the hard part you don't necessarily if you wanted to you could actually like make measurements do some measurements or you know make some points on your shirt to say this is where I want to cut to or something like that and that it would be easier to make everything nice and even but I'm just gonna do some cuts so and you're gonna keep doing this as as far up your shirt as you want it to go. If you only want it to go halfway up, then stop halfway. So I'm going to stop right about here. One more. Okay, and you can, um, when you start doing the weaving, you can do your weaving from either direction. You can either go up to down or down to up. But to, before I do that, I'm going to decide the direction. This time I want to go down. So I'm going to make a small hole under here <laughs> and that's just one spot so that's where I know I'm gonna finish my weaving down there we open up this shirt and here's all of our nice cuts to start doing that what looks like a braid pattern you're going to pick up your first piece of shirt and you're going to twist it and you see I just twisted it around my finger like this okay your next piece of shirt is gonna go through that twist, like this. And once you pull it through, you're gonna twist that piece too. It doesn't matter which direction you twist them as long as you continue to twist them. If you continue to twist them, you're gonna get what kinda looks like a braid in the end I'm gonna flip this around because it's a little bit easier for me to work in this direction than in the other direction so all I'm doing is pick up and twist and pick up the next one and twist and the other thing that can be kind of um, confusing when you're doing this because especially if you make small cuts like I did um, is going to be figuring out which one is the next 
Which one is the next one to pick up and pull through? Okay, so what I did was, uh, we took a little break so that I could finish up the, the weavy. So I just did that same thing with all the twists and everything all the way down to the bottom to my last piece. And here's that small incision that I made. So all I'm going to do is cut this last piece in half. It's already threaded through these, my, um, my pieces. And then I am going to thread one piece through that small hole that I made. And we're just going to tie this so that it stays put. You can do a double knot, or if you want to do something cuter and have little bows on your shirt, you could do that too. And we just want to make sure that it stays where, where we want it. And then for your, your last step is, let's <laughs> see which way you're going to be able to see this. You're just going to take your shirt and kind of pull, pull it, pull open. And you want to kind of pull them in equal <laughs> amounts so that they're all kind of in the same area. But when you're done, you will have a weave in your shirt that looks like a braid, like that. And then oh, some really nice ventilation for the summertime. <laughs> Thanks again. Have a good one.